Shortages could affect enterprise deployments and desperately needed upgrades to enable things like 5G access. That'll be on the to-do list for many IT professionals. That's coming up next on this episode of Telecom News Bites, brought to you by 911 Inform. I'm Mark Fletcher, Vice President of Public Safety Solutions at 911 Inform. Let's get started. Enterprises that are looking to buy data center switches may be facing longer lead times and lack of stock over the course of the next year or so, as demand continues to substantially outpace supply, according to a report from the Deloro Group. Sami Bouzelbeen, leader of the analyst firm's campus and data center research team, said that one canary in the coal mine was Broadcom's announcement earlier this year that 90% of its total chip output for 2021 had already been spoken for as early as March. Now, that's the result of not just material shortages that have affected the entire semiconductor market as a whole, but of human behaviors that arose in response. Whether they're smaller enterprises or big hyperscalers building out capacity, IT decision makers tend to rush into pre-orders whenever headlines about shortages appear, Bouzelbeen said. And Deloro predicts that will ring true in 2022. So supply is decreasing and demand is increasing, she said. There's currently a belief that things will get worse in the second half of the year, but there's no consensus on when it'll start getting better, she said. Pre-crisis, the average shipping time for data center switches was four to eight weeks. And now it's roughly double that, Bouzelbeen said. And that means enterprise customers, in particular, could be waiting up to several months for new equipment. And even cloud service providers could face substantial delays. It's an industry-wide problem, she said, and there's no single reason that the crisis happened. Demand is coming back from automobile makers, and on the networking side, ZTE and Huawei were stockpiling chips ahead of the U.S. sanctions. Even though the stockpiling happened last year, Deloro believes it will continue to have a serious effect on the supply chain for years to come, Bouzerbeen said. Wireless land shortages are also likely to be particularly acute while core switching might be somewhat less affected, according to Del Oro's research. But even that is an uncertain forecast, they added. It could be that switch demand recovery lagged behind that of wireless LAN, she said, meaning that demand might only just now be springing up again. In any case, this is sure to create an impact on enterprise operations and upgrades. That wraps up this episode of Telecom News Bites, brought to you by 911 Inform, delivering next generation 911 solutions for the enterprise today and making every second count. Visit them on the web at 911inform.com. I'm Mark Fletcher and I'm Vice President of Public Safety Solutions at 911 Inform. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Fletch911 and be sure to check out all of my blogs and podcasts on Fletch.tv. Remember to like and subscribe below. That way you'll be immediately notified whenever a new podcast is published. Telecom News Bites is published every Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern and is available on your favorite podcast platform such as iTunes and the iHeartRadio Network. Thanks so much for listening. We'll catch you next time and take care.